uh, welcome to another video here at Ritual Awesome Pianos. Uh, in this video I'm going to be comparing uh, two of our most popular high-end digital pianos, that's the Kawai CA79 and the Kawai CA99. Um, now both these models uh, came out fairly recently, just a few months ago, and they replaced the uh, CA78 and the CA98 uh, respectively. Um, if you're watching this video you're probably uh, wondering what the differences are, maybe um, considering either option uh, for yourself. Um, so in this video, yeah, I'll be going through um, all the features that they have in common, um, as well as, and perhaps more importantly, uh, the features that the uh, CA99 has over the 79, and uh, hopefully by the end of the video you'll have a better sense of why uh, the 99 is um, really considered the superior instrument. So the first feature these models have in common is, is their action, so uh, they both use the Kawai's um, top end ground field 3 action. So this is an action which is not available on any of the models underneath the uh, CA79. So this is an, um, an action, as the name suggests, uh, which is a horizontal grand piano action. Um, so yeah, each of the keys are very long, so you're getting an enormous amount of control and power um, with this action. Um, the uh, keys are made of wood um, with um, ivory and ebony uh, touch uh, key surfaces on the uh, white and black keys. Um, but yeah, being wood, uh, that just means that uh, you know, as much energy as possible is being transferred through the whole length of the key. And uh, the key tops uh, yeah, just have that really nice texture um, under the fingertips, uh, which gives you uh, nice control there, um, also absorbs moisture uh, very effectively. Um, each of the keys has um, counterweights um, underneath, uh, so these help, uh, particularly when you're playing very softly, so pianissimo passages uh, really help with your control um, in that regard. Um, the weighting of the keys is different uh, for every single key, so they're individually weighted. So you've got the very heaviest uh, keys at the bottom, and then uh, gradually getting lighter towards the top, as you have um, with um, an acoustic piano, with um, you know, larger hammers at the bottom, and then becoming increasingly smaller and lighter uh, towards the top. Um, each of the uh, keys has uh, three sensors involved, so um, each of those sensors uh, and combined are able to pick up you know, all the uh, subtle nuances of your playing um, and, and your touch. Um, so yeah, it's a really highly responsive and uh, controlled action all round. Uh, both the CA79 and the CA99 uh, use the same piano samples. So that's uh, a sample taken from uh, the Shigeru Kawai EX Concert Grand, uh, which is Kawai's flagship uh, grand piano model in their acoustic range. Uh, in both cases, Kawai have used their Harmonic Imaging XL technology, uh, which means that every note of the uh, concert grand has been sampled individually and to every possible uh, volume level. Um, adding to the realism of the piano sound, though, is the fact that the onboard computer uh, uses algorithms which um, detect, uh, first of all, uh, all the subtle nuances of your playing uh, moment to moment, and then responds with um, exactly how an acoustic piano would respond and how the different elements of the piano so the strings, the soundboard, the frame and so on would all interact. So when you play these instruments, it's going to sound uh, slightly different every time. Uh, so yeah, you're getting really um, high level authenticity uh, with both of these models. Uh, sound does bring us on to the uh, first important difference though between the CA79 and the CA99, and that's to do with the uh, sound delivery system. Uh, I mean, in both cases, they do use a six-way speaker system. So that's speakers at the bottom and all the way up to the top of the instrument, um, giving a very 360-degree sort of um, effect uh, there, so the sound really does uh, surround you in both cases. Um, but the actual speaker power is quite different between the two models, so the overall um, output uh, power with the CA79 is 100 watts, whereas with the CA99 it's 135 watts. Uh, so the speakers are, are quite a lot more powerful uh, with this model um, and that means that not only uh, is the sound going to be uh, louder or you can have a wider dynamic range uh, with the CA99 um, but you're actually also getting a wider tonal palette, you know, there's much more depth, uh, much more uh, colour richness in the sound uh, with this one. Another really important difference though is the fact that the CA99 uh, uses a wooden soundboard at the back of the instrument so um, it's actually using transducers uh, which uh, transmit uh, the sound to the soundboard uh, and so it's made of wood as you have with an acoustic piano uh, so that's able to resonate um, you know, really freely and you know, again it just gives you um, I would say a warmer uh, quality of the sound than you, it's really possible with the CA79 
So all in all, it's um, again a, a much more authentic um, sounding instrument, much more like an acoustic piano uh, as is possible with the CA79. Uh, both the uh, CA79 and the CA99 have this five inch LCD touch screen on the uh, left hand side uh, of the keyboard. Uh, so this gives you access to all the features of uh, both models. Uh, this is the uh, home screen then. So this, um, as you can see, this is the uh, Shigeru Kwai uh, EX Concert Grand uh, sample I mentioned before. Uh, you can move this across um, to um, other pianos. So you've got uh, the former Concert Grand, the EX, um, the SK5, so that's a uh, sort of medium sized uh, Shigeru Kwai, and even uh, an upright piano sound there. Um, if I go back to the uh, Shiga Kwai though, click on uh, rendering uh, here and it uh, gives me access to a few different uh, options for the uh, Shiga Kwai X uh, sample. So I can change the uh, acoustic environment and uh, the way in which the uh, sound has been rendered uh, from that uh, instrument. So you've got the, uh, the, the standard classic uh, rendering there. But I can uh, change this to lots of different um, versions of the same sample. Um, I can change, if I go back to classic, change the um, ambience, so the uh, room type, so how much reverb uh, you're getting. Uh, you can change that um, more finely here, so the um, reverb depth there. Uh, tuning, you can uh, transpose the instrument from here as well. Another really great feature though, uh, with uh, both these models is the virtual technician area. So if I go into that, so this gives you access to, um, yeah, just really being able to finely tune uh, lots of different um, areas of the piano, uh, both in terms of yeah the touch sensitivity, uh, the voicing, so how uh, bright or mellow the sound is, uh, how much depth you're getting, um, all of these um, you know, very in-depth um, options here. Um, I won't go into all of the hits, there's obviously a lot here, uh, pedal sensitivity even. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of options there. So essentially all, all things that you'd be able to do uh, and change uh, with an acoustic piano um, are all available here. If I want to change the voice um, of the instrument, so I'll just go to uh, sounds here and uh, yeah, I've got access to all the different instruments um, that uh, are available on both the CA79 and the 99. Uh, on the left hand side here you've got the uh, different um, instrument groups. Um, so if you click on any of those then you can go to the uh, particular instrument uh, you want to play there. Uh, a couple of other features available uh, via the touch screen here are, um, well, first of you can record yourself. So if I just press the recording button here uh, twice uh, I can play, uh, record something with that. I then switch it off, you can um, either choose to save or delete uh, what you've recorded. So press delete for now. You've also got access to uh, metronome. So you change the uh, number of beats per minute uh, up there and the number of beats per bar uh, using that. You've also got access to uh, backing rhythms as well. So again, I can uh, change the uh, tempo up here and the uh, backing rhythm um, here. For whatever I want. In terms of the cabinets of the two pianos, the uh, CA79 is the more compact of the two, so it's um, only 94 centimeters in height, so it's ideal for perhaps a smaller living room or a small studio room. Um, it has a sliding uh, keyboard cover, uh, which uh, looks very uh, neat and tidy uh, when it's down. Uh, the music desk has uh, six different positions, and uh, the, the base of the music desk here is uh, made of simulated leather um, which uh, looks very nice and also really helps to keep um, any music, music books open. Uh, the cabinet of the CA99 is a little bit bigger, 101 centimeters in height uh, this time. Just looks a bit more like um, an actual acoustic piano, uh, particularly in uh, polished ebony, which is one of the finishes uh, it's available in. Um, again, with the music desk, uh, you've got synthetic leather along there, which is a really nice feature. Um, also, the full board is a soft close. Uh, which is a feature that's uh, very common with uh, most modern day uh, acoustic upright pianos. In terms of other features that uh, the CA79 and CA99 have in common, um, well they both have MIDI connectivity, uh, so they can both be used as MIDI controllers. 
Uh, so using a MIDI cable, uh, for instance, it can be connected to a computer and then used with various software like Sibelius or Logic Pro, for instance. Um, they both have Bluetooth connectivity um, inbuilt as well. So it can be connected very easily to uh, smart devices like smartphones, uh, tablets, and then used with uh, various apps in both cases. Uh, they also both have USB to host and device. Uh, so you can connect a USB cable uh, to smart devices. And you also, uh, for instance, record yourself onto a memory stick and then uh, use that memory stick in a computer or hi-fi system, for instance. Uh, so all in all, if you're choosing between the CA79 and the CA99, um, well, certainly in terms of sound, the most important thing to remember is that with the CA99, uh, because of the uh, much more powerful speaker system and the soundboard at the back of the uh, piano, uh, you're getting um, a much more realistic uh, piano sound all around, so you know, the, the tonal palette is much wider, uh, you're getting much more color, much more depth, uh, to the sound, um, even though they both have the same uh, really excellent uh, ground feel three action, so they're both highly responsive um, actions. Um, because the sound is so much better with this one, it just feels uh, much more uh, responsive and just much more rewarding uh, as well. Um, if you want a, a digital piano as well that looks uh, as much like an acoustic piano as possible, then again the CA99 is the better option. Uh, as I said before, is it because of the bigger cabinet. Uh, really nice soft close full board uh, there as well. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you have any queries at all about either of these models, the CA79 or the CA99 here, uh, or indeed about any of our digital or acoustic pianos, uh, then you can visit our website, which is uh, richardlawsonpianos.com. Um, all of our contact information is on there. Um, also, if you did want to arrange an appointment with us and try these uh, instruments for yourself, um, then again, you can do that through our website. Mm -hmm.